I don't remember that being there. Oh, how's it going? I'm just cruising through my Nintendo Power. When was the last time you guys took a look through the Mario 3 Nintendo Power? I actually own a fairly good condition copy of it, and I never fully glance through it. I take a look every once in a while, make sure I get some facts right, make sure I say things correctly, and that, you know, everything checks out. You know, there's a lot of weird artwork and stuff like that. You guys wanna, you guys wanna dive in a little bit and take a trip back to the past and see what the Nintendo Power was all about? Because apparently they knew all the intense speed strats and everything that we, not everything, but a lot of the stuff that we do today. Yeah, let's jump in, let's go. First thing we can take a look at is that one of the pages here has Mario advanced moves. I didn't even know that they classified some of the moves in this as advanced moves. So they have diagonal jumping. What? And they use 742 as the example. That's pretty interesting, I guess. I mean, that's, I don't know how that's a diagonal jump, but I mean, pretty interesting. Uh, using ice to slide. They actually use the secret in 6-1 for this one. Uh, <laughs> jump around corners. What? That's not even... How is that even a, a skill set? How is that even a, a special move? But, you know, I, I do remember as a kid, this was a very, very difficult spot uh, to jump up and grab that one up. That's in World 6, Level 4. Uh, jet Coaster Jumps, they use... It looks like 7-3. Yeah, they're using 7-3. Uh, jump and Squat... That's pretty interesting. That's the 5-1 secret. And the ability to dash over small gaps. The one tiles. Yeah, okay. Yeah, free fall jumps. They use that same jump, I think, in Lost Levels, don't they? In Super Mario Bros. 2 Lost Levels. And uh, Koopas can clear blocks as well. Apparently, that is the introduction to Mario's advanced moves. Very interesting. All right, let's 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 dive deeper. And look at what we have here. This is the beauty of 90s, late 80s and 90s advertising. Don't power down on your subscription. I never had a Nintendo Power subscription when I was a kid, but uh, I used to love when my friends had them and I could read through them and look at all the pictures, kind of like the Sears catalog as well. I used to do the same thing. All right, what else do we have? Oh, cool. We just have the back of it. Cool. This this uh, actually adds in the back. That's pretty cool. Not a whole lot to, to look at. Find the first warp whistle. Near the end of World 1-3, look for a white block. Hop on top and press down for five seconds. Drop down, run to the end of the stage to a toad house. Oh, and these pictures are weird too. Don't miss information packet guides. Yep, this is the cover. We know we all know what the cover looks like. Looks a little squished here, but Mario's having a bad time. All right, here we go. All right, this is this is what we want. So we got the we got the shiny cheap cheap, the big Bertha baby cheap. Yeah, always the babies in this game. We got the Fire Bros. All the all the Hammer Brothers here. Really cool. Gelectrode. I I love that name, Gelectro. Potaboo, such a weird name. Yeah, you got the Fire Snake, Fire Chomp, Chain Chomp, the Bomb Spike, Roto Disc. Yeah, a lot of us know all these things. Angry Sun. I did not know that these were called Stretch. Weird. Okay, I learned something. Stretch, another spooky inhabitant of fortresses. Stretch lives inside weird white blocks. Interesting. Abu Diddly. That's such a funny. That's such a funny term. All right, and then we have the, the Larry, Morton, Wendy, Iggy, Roy, Ludwig, Lemmy, and we have Bowser. That's right, cool, the enemy list. Oh, there's more. Yeah, we got the Koopas. Yeah, the para, Paratroopas. The Koopa Troopas, Dry Bones, Buzzy Beetles. Colossal Koopa Paratroopa. I didn't even know that the Colossal was a part of, I just called them big. Big Koopas, bloopers, pear beetles, blooper nanny. I, again, also, I had no idea that that was called a blooper nanny. It makes sense now. The watching over, well, I don't know if nanny is a good word considering the blooper like shoots its babies at Mario and then unfortunately they kind of disappear and die. That's a very, very sad story. Hanging piranha plants, piranha kiss, giganticus. 
Okay, I had no idea. Look at this. Piranicus Giganticus. What? That's crazy. Hey, there's a Patui. We know that. Nippers, munchers, little Goombas, mugger, micro Goomba. What? I guess he mugs you, right? I mean, they, he takes over. Pile driver, I knew that. I knew the pile driver. Grand Goomba, I didn't know it was called Grand Goomba. Cheap, oh, so the flying, yeah. Cheap, cheap, boss bass. Mario's matching game. Look at it, it it's crazy because it's all like hand drawn. Like it's all different things. But if you ever wanted to know all the patterns for the spade card games, it's right here. Very cool. World data box. Use these symbols to decide the info on each world's title page. Okay, okay. So we have the, the hammer bro, the mushroom house, the white mushroom house. Yeah, if you collect over a certain number of coins, that's right, a, my, a white mushroom house will appear. Wandering hammer bros. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, and there's the world data box in the bottom right. Magic note, key switch. All right, and now we have Mario's basic moves. Walk, That that is as basic as it gets. Accelerate, yep. By holding down the B button and running, thank you. We got jump and super jump, jump out of water. When you're at the water surface, jump and press up on the control pad, that's right. Fly or float, yeah, flutter. I always called it flutter. Squat, they always call it squat. Yeah, you can do the sliding, stomp, uh, pick up and kick, hail attack. Yeah, you can swim. I love how they taught you how to jump out of water before they taught you how to swim here. Uh, smash it up, pipes, uh, climbing, like the climbing the vines, and doors. And then we have this awesome picture right here. This is really cool too. Look at this. Yeah, I like this. They're all looking around. Peach is tied up. No. All right. This is a cool one. Mario's power up. Look at the way they kind of describe it in the pictures. Like Mario in the center and it like branches out. So you got your super mushroom. You got your super leaf. Your frog suit, your tanuki suit, hammer suit, and fire flower. I wonder why the fire flower is in the box there and not as its own weird. Nice, and it goes on and explains all them. Fiery Mario. Yeah, this hammer bro suit is a crafty outfit. Yes, it is. I love it. Okay, we have Mario's magical items. Starman, P-Wing, Juggum's Cloud, Hammer, Music Box, Magic Whistle, Anchor, and 1-Up Mushroom. If you read the description of the anchor, they even say themselves, um, using the anchor, Mario can keep the Koopaling's airship from uh, escaping. Another rather weak item, but tough to find, true. So it is a weird magical item, but it's not magical in the sense that it's powerful at all. And they knew it, they knew it. So here's another thing that I did not know that they did uh, in the Nintendo Power was they showed us the techniques to do infinite one up. So if anyone was like, I found this, look what I found. It's like, no, it was definitely in the Nintendo Power. Look at this one, the one with the bullet bills. And this is this top one. This top one right here is you got world three level four where you throw the shell in between. Yep. And then world three nine, you throw it in between at the bottom right here and the bullet bills keep coming out and you keep getting power ups. Yep. One, two, the Goomba shoe stomp. We, yep. I didn't know that this was in Nintendo power, but I did do this. And then world two fortress. Uh, I want to say I didn't know about this one, but this makes sense. Yeah, you just keep bouncing and fluttering on the dry bones. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Interesting. The vine method. Oh, cool. Okay, so in world 3-7, you throw it in between the vine and the block, and then you stomp it, and then you wait for it to wake up. Wow, that would take a long time, though. Oh, this is hard to see, but I think that says 5-4. Oh, I didn't even think of this one either. The the red spinning platforms don't count as landing on the ground apparently. So you just wait for him to wake up. You go back and forth, cool. Four one. Uh, 
Uh, these are just multiple one-ups and apparently 200 coins. Is it because you can just keep going back into the secret, right? And getting them? Yeah. And the World 7 Fortress. Yeah, we all know about that one. Cool. Hey everyone, just one quick note. I want to let you all know that I am going to be out of town on March 9th, 10th, and 11th. And what I'm going to be doing is the Grand Pooh Bear speedrun session in San Jose, California on March 10th, 7 p.m. PST at the Guild House. So I'm not going to be streaming, but interestingly enough, I have something for you. I did decide to upload five videos that are gonna be coming out on the 9th, 10th, and 11th. So keep an eye out. There's gonna be two videos uploaded on the 9th, one video on the 10th, and two videos on the 11th. So I'm looking out for you guys. Thank you very much. We're not gonna go too crazy into world one and two and three and all that stuff. There is a lot to cover here, but we can definitely take a look at some of the things that they said, like kick the crazy Koopa and up, up and away. The sky pipe leads to a secret coin room. Yeah, we already know all that stuff. The physics of falling mushrooms. Wow, if you hit a question block from below, a mushroom may appear. If you hit it on the bottom left side, the mushroom will fall to the right and vice versa. You can make it go any way you want. And a lot of people didn't know that. I definitely was unable to read that in Nintendo Power. I didn't have it as a kid. So that was something I had to learn through trial and error. Very interesting that they... Nintendo Power knew it all, man. They knew it all. Going down pipes resets blocks. So yeah, we got the score points. Yeah, this is where the secret is. It shows the one up in the clouds. Very cool. Uh, one four, yeah, nobody likes auto scrollers. Boring, but it does have the white mushroom house. The, the whistle, we all know about the hidden whistle. Nobody goes in this section anymore. Look at the artwork too on the cover, like it's so cool. They did a really good job with this. Yeah, look at that. We're already on the airship. Look at Larry! Cannonball capers? Is that, did I pronounce that right? Koopa's cabin? That's hilarious. We got the Koopa's cabin right here. We got the lone power up. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, the airships were kind of tough. Wow, this world too looks really cool. I always loved world two when I was a kid. It was probably one of my favorite worlds. The music and the dancing trees for the first time when you see it, very cool. Wow, look, you have like the sun in the background, just like the overlay. They did a really good job in this. One, two, we all know the secrets. Hold the B and jump. Yeah, you want to do that. Whoa, look at the size of the P-switch right there. That's crazy. They, they definitely drew it in there. They didn't want anyone with bad eyesight to miss anything in this. How to collect the 30 coins. That's actually a pretty good tutorial because that's where you get your first anchor. Use dry bones to get unlimited one-ups. That's right. You taught us that at the start. And the other secret warp whistle. Very cool down there. It looks really cool from this perspective. Like you see the whole map for what it is and, and all the items and stuff. Yep, the sun level. It's weird though. I don't see the sun in the level though. Or some of the Koopas. It definitely didn't draw in all the items there. Or sorry, all the enemies. Mario has unlimited carrying abilities. You can collect up to 28 items from the Hammer Bros and Toad Houses. It will erase the last one in the box. So make timely use of your items. That is true. When I do triple threat challenge, my item inventory management is, is very, very important. Take Mario to a higher ground. Yeah, the secret in 2-4 uh, is really cool. Boomerang Brother Ambush. I guess they're assuming you'd fall in this little pocket right here. And you have to wait for the boomerang, bro. We got 2-5. There's really nothing special in 2-5 uh, here. There's a, there's a lot of power-ups. I think there's four, four leaf power-ups. And then I think in the pyramid, you get a first your first taste of Buzzy Beetles on the ceiling as well. Yeah, right here it says Buzzy Beetles on the ceiling. There may have been Buzzy Beetles on the ceiling earlier. I, I don't quite remember, but I don't think so. Beyond the sand dunes is the secret warp whistle. That's right. A special turtle technique. What? A special turtle technique is very interesting because I submitted a run to speeddemosarchive.com a very, very long time ago. And I used this technique to get a power up and my, my run was claimed as cheating. 
is when you release a shell on a block right here and it bounces back and you have, it's not eye frames. It's not like, I guess it's in invincibility frames, but yeah, you won't take damage. One block away from a pipe or wall and it won't hit you as it bounces back. Exactly. World two airship, it shows. Is it, is it naturally green? I guess it is kind of green, but you don't get that. You don't get this. You don't get this kind of green tinge when you play it. It's very weird because the background has more of a light blue, kind of weird purple look. Very cool World 3 artwork. Look at that. It's got the Lava Lotus. It's got the Blooper Nanny, Gelectro. Yeah. Don't lose control. So it's like your, your introduction to all the swimming here. But I think you guys want the nitty gritty. Where is it? Yeah, nothing crazy special. We all know about the stuff in this. I think it's the next page. Yes, here it is. Look at this. Okay, so the boo, the boo diddly sandwich. We got the boo diddly sandwich up here. The fortress. This boom boom can fly. Look, warp to boom boom. Although it's difficult to do, if you enter the third door and press up again fast, you can go straight to boom boom. Nintendo Power already knew the glitch, so it's like no one discovered it. There wasn't anyone who actually found it, I guess. I mean, there had to have been someone to find it, but Nintendo Power spoiled it for everyone. Yeah, not a, not a whole else slot in World 3. A frog suit exclusive. Oh, that's right. There's a special frog suit. Yeah. Donut lift danger auto. Okay, we're gonna auto scroll past that level. How about that? Go to coin heaven again. That's right, and you'll actually get a secret cloud. Get the secret cloud right up there. That's really cool. This almost looks like a check mark. It's like you found the secret. Congratulations. The flooded fortress. I never considered it the flooded fortress, but that's actually a really good name for it. Uh, oh my god, here's Stretch instead of here's Johnny. Oh man, there's so much to 3-8 here. There is so much. Title Terror? That's what they're calling it? Look at all the vines and stuff. Your first playthrough, this P-Switch area is such a debate. It's so like, you go down there, you hit the P-Switch, then you're stuck and you get eaten. Easily get eaten there. And 3-9 is huge. Look at 3-9, it's got so much to it. Oh, this world teaches you how to do the treasure ship. Okay. Collect the number of coins that is a multiple of 11. Make the tens digit in your score, the second number from the right, match the multiple 11. Stop the timer at the end of the stage on an even number. One possible combination would be 11 coins, score 9,310, Timer 104. This works only in worlds one, three, five, and six. So strange, man. Nintendo and their weird. Ah, the Wendy airship. Koopa's cabin. Got the Koopa's cabin. Through an unseen gap. See, they even knew if you jumped over the top, you can go over. I didn't know that Nintendo Power knew that until right now. Interesting. Look at the way they drew Wendy. Very nice work. Throw those hoops. Another one-up opportunity. Wow, yep. Use your momentum to go up top. A kooky mode of transportation. I didn't know the screws, right? I didn't know they called it that. Yeah, oh cool, and they teach you. They teach you the, uh, the boat here with the hammer. Very cool. Man, the artwork for this is just so cool. We got World 4. Very cool. As you can clearly see, it's shaped like a turtle, but it's like a weird turtle. It's not like a Koopa from the game. You think you think Nintendo Power knew about the 7-1 wrong warp? Look, they got the secret. They got the secret up here. This is where they said you can get the 1-up. Yep, and keep going back in. Oh, cool. This is where they teach you with the bullet bills. You stay close to them and they won't attack you. Very cool. 
Sledge Bros. I knew they were called Sledge Bros. I knew they were called Sledge Bros. Fly up and get some coins. Yep, I knew about the coins up there. I knew about the coins up here. I knew pretty much everything in this level. Pretty much everything here I knew. Very cool. World 4 is kind of a small world here. Another tricky fortress. Yeah, this fortress is very difficult, especially in randomizer. Very cool. Dry bones galore. We got 4-4. Four, four. Most hated level. No Lakitu's in the images though, very weird. But it does say Lakitu is waiting for you though. Yeah, it's waiting for you in the level. Weird that they're teaching you about the statue here. I think you can get, I think you can get a Tanuki in World 4. Yeah, you can get a Tanuki in World 4. That's right. That's right, you get it in the secret exit. See, this is why I read Nintendo Power. It's a good refresh. Cool. World 4, 5. Very nice. Yeah, the secret, the alternate exit will give you one. Don't clip though, don't clip. The giants down to size. Yeah, that's right, four, six, you can like revert them back to small Koopas. Very cool. The fortress hidden quarter. I wanna see if it tells you that you can enter it without hitting the P-switch. Okay, let's see if you can, if they tell you about entering it without the P-switch. When you hit the P-switch block, the door to the hidden quarters will be framed by silver coins. Stand in the door and press up to enter. The hidden quarter is the long way to Boom Boom, but it gives you a chance for four one-ups and some coins. Wow, I didn't, what? I didn't know there was four one-ups in there. Really? There's four one, oh, that's right. You take, when you exit, you take the additional path again, and I think there's three one-ups. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right, and the flying one at the top here. This is a tough one. I always forget about that one. But it looks like you can use hidden blocks to get to it. I just forget all the time. Iggy's airship, the slowest, most boring. Don't get burned. Yeah, they, they don't have anything to say about this because it's boring as, as heck. Oh, this one's sick. World 5 is my favorite so far. Look at this. He's sweating. Mario's sweating. Any sweaters in chat? He's sweating. Damn, look at that. Okay. Oh, I like the colors of the book for World 5. Very cool. Get a star and wipe out the chain chomps. Yeah, look. Okay, it's got all the secret one-ups. And then it teaches you about, yeah, it'll teach you about the secret there. That's right. Huh, it's interesting. It doesn't actually show the goal here. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this was like cut off cause, well, no, I think the pipe would still be showing if it was on the Japanese. I don't think so though. This is definitely the choices, choices. Yeah, don't fall down the shaft of shame. Let's go up. Yeah, go up is the shortcut. Very cool. This level's huge, man. It's a big level. Is anyone's World 5 their favorite world? Definitely write in the comments below what your favorite world is. I want to know. Flaming Karubo Shoe. That's right. This is where you first get it. You only get it in one level. One level. That's it. As a kid, this fortress was always so strange. I remember flying up, but I could never get up that little spot right there. But I knew something was there because you can just kind of see it a little bit, especially if you fly up almost and you just miss it. I always thought it was like the craziest secret, but I knew about it. You're almost in the clouds. It doesn't... Does it say anything about the Twisty Castle? This tower to the clouds leads Mario to the second half of the Sky World. Now's the time to be Raccoon Mario. A tower connects the ground with the sky. Very cool. Such a cool concept. The secret one-ups. And then, does it show the... Yeah, it shows the, the one-ups on the back right here. Yeah. It's so hard to find. Oh, yes. The clouds. Very scary. 5-4, five, 5-5, five, five, and 5-6. Tough levels. Not a whole lot, though. Not a whole lot going on here. Yeah. It teaches you that you can stand on the Buzzy Beetles. 
And I think it's the first time you see the Buzzy Beetles, too. Yeah, damn auto scrollers. 5-7 is a very cool level. See, in 5-7, I I never understood this section here. Is it supposed to mean like it's connected here almost? Like it's the pipe almost connects in the picture, but I mean it doesn't really, you know, I don't know. I always thought the section was very strange. The shortcut to the end? Wait, what? The shortcut to the end. This is tricky to do without a P-Wing, but you can go through the top of the right wall to end the stage. Wait, up here? I didn't know that. I mean, I made a ROM hack where I removed this wall and it took you to the end stage, but... Damn. I'm gonna have to try that. It's obviously not gonna be faster, but... Interesting. Interesting. Well, it looks like they could only fit this on a small page here, so... World 5 Fortress. Does it say anything about Jesus Clip? The Potaboos you've encountered in the past. Give Starman directions. No! Nintendo Power did not foresee Jesus Clip. Unfortunate. Even if you're raccoon, Mario, you won't have enough room to fly in this world. The key is getting through here alive is holding down the B button and dashing past. If you focus on running to the right, you should only get hit once in this world. Uh, okay, speedrunners know how to not get hit, okay? We know how to not get hit. The imperative power-up? Uh, I don't think so. The more of a- well, no, the power-up at the start of the level's okay. Yep, you can get bonus one-ups with the Lakitu here, yeah. And you- yeah, you can go back down the Twisty Castle, but I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, snap. We all know this level. We all know 5-9. Diagonally scrolling danger. Interesting. This is another of the most challenging worlds in SMB3. You must be a com in complete control of Mario to master the moving lifts here. It is true, it's a pretty tough level. But I think what makes the level very difficult is the fire chomps here. The fire chomps are very nasty. Great drawing of the level, it's very cool. The self-destructing chomps, that's right. Then we have the airship. This is a very short airship though. Watch out for the rocket engines. However, this middle section right here, the gauntlet is what they call it. That's very tough as a kid, especially if you don't know to go up. That's tough. Roy's a big, big, big boy. A chili challenge lies ahead. Very cool. Okay, World 6 cover is the coolest. It's like 3D with the grab blocks and the ice, the munchers and the coins. That is by far the best. That's by far the best one. Very cool. World 6-1, 6-2, and 6-3. It's definitely going to show the secret in 6-1, right? Yeah, there it is right there. You can see it in the top right. And it shows that's where the technique with the sliding. One of Mario's advanced moves, apparently. 6-3. And then the 6 Fortress. Ah, this Fortress is crazy. Look at the way it's drawn Like when you look back. Outward perspective, yeah. Even in the bottom right here, right? The one up there, like, I knew about that, but I mean, when are you ever going to find that? Who's going to get the leaf or the mushroom from small, then grab the leaf, then go back through this death waffle pit, build P-Speed without taking damage here, and fly up? Unless you P-Wing the whole level. That is true. If you P-Wing the whole level, you'll definitely be able to. Oh, look at the way they drew the ice blocks here. Very cool. Very nice. <laughs> Look, without the S, it's just tart. Tart here! Tart here! Take it steady. I don't know, man. Sometimes on the ice, I feel like when you go fast, you're not you're not feeling the effects of the ice until you slow down. Oh, that's right. There is a one-up. That's right. There is something there. The P-switch. Yeah, right over there. That's right. I remember now. Well, the way I do this level is very different than how they intended. There's multiple ways. You could do the clip, you could do the despawn, keep a P-Wing. The only thing I didn't like is like this little section here just seems so... I don't know, it's so weird, but it's cool.
World 6, the subterranean lake. This is a very difficult level in the 100% run, too. You can get the Starman quick. The dead, yeah, the dead end one up right here. That's right. School of Cheap Cheeps. Go to the goal. Oof, 6 7. The next, this is the next white mushroom house, too. But what a beast of an auto scroller. Look at this thing. Leap for life. They got the, the, the thwomps one, two, three, four, five. Like, yeah, that's an intense fortress. Looks cool, though. Boom Boom's cold. Rough and tumble tundra. That's what they call the six eight. Very weird. Wait, why? Why is these? Why is this plant brown? That's so strange. What happened? Look, this other one's brown too. What happened in the the art process here? Are are more of them brown? They are brown. Look, all of them are brown. Maybe a different artist. The good artist was was sick that day. Mole Mario. Oh yeah, the H. Oh boy, 88 coins! Yay! Alright, 6-9. P-Wing or Frog Suit Bounty. Either the either the P-Wing or the Frog Suit will give you a bonus in this world. That's right, because you can P-Wing above or you can swim under, right? If you swim under, you can get the secret right here. Yeah, okay. Oh, here it is! Only a one-up for a P-Wing? I don't know about that, but Mini Mario can make it. Although it takes perfect timing and not everyone can do it, Small Mario can make it up the wall. So they knew about the wall jumps too. Insane, Nintendo Power was way too smart, man. Way to go, Frog Mario! 610, very cool level. 610 is one of my favorite levels. There's just so much in it. Aside from hammer suits, weird vine glitches, there's two fire flowers, the, the cool freezing and unfreezing effect with the fire. It's very cool. Lots of cool stuff. I can't say the same for the fortress, but the fortress is still kind of cool. I remember struggling on this fortress as a kid. All the conveyors, right? All the conveyors. And then speedrunners make the elevator room look so easy, but it can be pretty tough if you don't if you don't have full control over Mario or know what's going on. Ah yes, the next airship. Battle the Clown Prince of Koopas, Lemmy Koopa. I didn't know he was referred to as the Clown Prince, did you? Ignore the bolt lift? Yeah, I'm gonna ignore those. I used to fall through them a lot when I was a kid. Screw that. I'm not doing that. Score a power-up? Always. I'm always trying to score. A power up. Clown around with Lemmy Koopa. God, what a clown. Look at this background right here. How many? They're all different. They, they all drew in like different things. I think the first two are the same, but this one just looks weird. I think that might be the capture of the camera displaying like a doubled image or something weird like that. Onwards to warmer climate. Let's do it. World 7s is okay. I mean, it's got the Nipper Plants and the Patooies and Hammer Mario, but I still think World 6 or World 5 is by far the coolest. Welcome to Tube City. So I'm curious if this talks about clipping. Get a boost from a Koopa. Now departing to the coin room. Follow that one up. Collect the power up. Nab a one up. And eager eaters. No. It doesn't say anything about the clip. They didn't know, either they didn't know or they didn't want to say because it was like, cheating. You're just a dirty Mario cheater. Now, I highly doubt they're going to say anything about Fast 7-2. The structure of this page, though, is weird, though. You need the frog suit speed to get the white mushroom house. That is true. That is true. I'm pretty sure you cannot get the white mushroom house without the frog speed. Interesting, very interesting. In 7-3, this is the easiest level in the game. 7-4, Wild Water World. A squid with kids. 
Boogie on by with Big Bertha and Lava Lotus. Bring along a Koopa. One up waiting. A bomb, dead end, and create a bridge. Yes, you have to create a bridge, unless you clip, which... Oh, wait, and another. Although you can fly over the other gaps as Raccoon Mario, the other way to get through here is to make a bridge. Okay, I thought it was going to say the clip. Because it just... Yeah, the puzzling maze level. I think I skipped this level when I was a kid every time. I mean, you don't use a cloud, but you can just avoid going to it. And then we got the Piranha Plant. The last obstacle before the King's Castle. They're doing both the Piranha Plants in one go instead of in order. Very interesting. I didn't know that. Ah, yes. The Abandoned Fortress. That's what they're going to call it, huh? God, there's so much to it. If you enter a small Mario, you have to run all the way, right? Get the power up. Run all the way back. Hit the P-switch. Go into the pipes. And then get the leaf. And then you can, and then you have to know to fly up. I think that's why they put all the coins, let you farm one ups, and you'll you'll essentially just be in there forever. In World Six, we never see this level, not anymore. Maybe in Randomizer, right? But even in Randomizer, we still try and clip through the level at least. Ah, yes, seven seven. Either clip or play Mini Mario Maker. Very weird level. Charging Koopas? Yeah, yeah. We never see this stuff in this level, so... Yeah. Alright, here comes the crazy levels at the end of this world. So we got World 7-8. I guess they kind of stopped drawing a lot of the enemies in the levels. I mean, they could have. Make a magic note block appear. Oh... That's right, the magic note block is right here. I kind of forgot about that, but like, I knew about that. I knew about it, but I forgot about it. It's weird. I made a ROM hack where I put a secret down here one time. That was pretty cool. Yeah, the fire nipper plants right at the end. That could be so difficult if you don't jump on top blocks. Ugh, that could be so hard. Seven, nine, look. So it even shows you the path right here. You follow the red line, go up. This is what you do in 100% if you don't clip, but you also can fly up without any clips. Yeah, what a crazy maze, too. Interestingly enough, if you go to ROM hack this level, all of these, all of this is actually one full big giant block, but you put little block remover tiles in the way. So there's something blocking the top, the top row here. It's crazy. I think it extends to maybe right here and goes down. And then it creates another one right here. And then continues and then stops right here. And then creates another one right here. Or wherever. It's just it's just so weird when you ROM hack this level. It's just so weird. Alright, moving on to the one of the hardest fortresses definitely in the game. B button run and jump. Yeah, it needs it has to teach you like because this jump is. It has to teach you, because this jump is just so hard. Get your friend Starman, use one of your, um, what, what was it called? In intense techniques or advanced advanced moves. Yeah, use one of your advanced moves to get the star. Dupe them. Do, do they mean dupe like a, like a juke them? Dodge them? Deke them out? Is that what they mean by dupe? Dupe, dupe them over. Right on, and then we have the end. Very cool. So they didn't say anything about 7-7 seven, seven clip. All right, and the airship. So this is actually the longest airship in the game. You would think it'd be World 4, but World 7 is just a very long airship. The lower platforms, I'm not going down there. Are you crazy? Ludwig von Koopa, yeah. Oh, it's telling you about the battle mode in two-player right here. Cool. Bowser's Underworld Hideout is next. You mean hell. Just call it hell. This artwork's pretty cool. I really like the way they drew Bowser. I really like how old-school Bowser looks. I like the way he looks much better than um, 
some of the new Bowser. Same with Mario, like the whole old school look of Mario and the characters, I think look way better than they do now. They look so animated and weird now, but I mean, whatever. All right, so World 8, I mean, you have the ba bombs, the, the leaps. I mean, there's not a whole lot to really go through here. Propeller peril. I mean, the propellers don't hurt you or anything. Bring out the big guns. A wimpy tank commander. That's what they call them. A wimpy tank commander. You'll be surprised to see a lone boomerang brother in the commander tank. You made it this far. Don't let him get you. That is true. You don't want to die on him. That would suck. That would suck a lot. Dangerous one up. Wait, what? To get this... To get this item on the right of the screen... Wait, hold on. Dangerous 1-Up? Oh, that's a mushroom. What 1-Up? To get this item, stay on the right of the screen, and as soon as you can, run down to it and make it appear. Collect it as you duck in front of the gun barrel. Huh. That must be a mistake. That's not a 1-Up. That's a power-up. A finer trio... And then it talks about swimming. Yep, it already knew about the swimming. I think we all knew about the swimming. I don't think any of us needed Nintendo Power for the swimming. And then you finally fight a Boom Boom. Ah, here it is. Giant hands drag you to your doom. Yeah, let's see what it says. This flame line bridge leads further into Bowser's underworld. It looks safe to cross, but no sooner do you step on it and then a monstrous hand reaches out to grab you and take you into the mini world. If you're lucky, you can make it through without being snatched, but you may want to hesitate on the bridge and get captured on purpose. For each trap, you'll get a super leap if you finish. Very cool. They made it look so empty though in the art, right? If you look at the top, there is a heck of a lot more going on in these levels. Yeah, there you go. You get the closer images. It's weird that they, well, no, these are screenshots, not drawn out. That's right, that's right, very cool. The Potaboo, you got the Potaboo hand trap and stage of fish hand trap. Very cool, that's right. Yo, we got the airships, take out the rockets. This airship is actually very hard to do without killing all the rocky wrenches. I actually had one of those as one of my points in my points tournament. Very cool. Fly Mario, yep, P-Wing. That's all I did when I was a kid, P-Wing that level. Screw that, I'm not doing that. Finally, a normal world. I don't know if you could call 8-1 normal. It's pretty tough. Yeah, you got the pipes, the power-ups. And in my last video, I talked about the P-Switch there. A lot of people forget about that. It's a good thing I make those videos. A hidden safe spot? Um, I don't know if this is a hidden safe spot. There is a bullet launcher right here. I mean, if you stand right here, you're safe. Yeah, if you stand right here, you're safe. It didn't draw in the invisible block, though. There is an invisible block there. Very interesting. Mega tough jump. Yeah, that one's kind of tough. 8-2. Yeah, 8-2. You can take the Sands of Haxer, go left or right. I think the left side is a power-up and the right side is not. That is right. Take a swim in quicksand. Very cool secret. It's crazy that they waited so long to use quicksand as a secret because it is very interesting. Don't say we didn't warn you. Yeah, so that's interesting. You can actually use the P-Switch here and do kind of like a safer climb, but I never even did that as a kid either. I always tried to take the music notes. Yeah. Double Jeopardy? Yeah, because you have all the plants there with the sun. And then we have the most insane fortress in the game. The most insane fortress. So I'm not sure if a lot of people notice, but in this fortress, you don't actually have pointers for the doors where it, like it's specifically telling you where to go. All the doors actually line up with each other, like on the map. Like if you laid this over this, if you laid it over on top of each other, all doors would line up as you can see right here, all the doors. I mean, it's not drawn perfectly, but you can tell that they, they all line up, which is very interesting. Thumb your nose at thwomps. Another secret switch block door. Yeah, there's a lot of secrets in this. Secret door to multiple power-ups. Yeah, you can just like infinitely get power-ups in this stage. So there's no reason why you should be small Mario. Unless, unless you've progressed to a point where you can't do anything about it. 
Go back up to the power up. Yeah, yeah. Repeating. Yeah, repeating item collection. See, Nintendo Power knows, man. They know everything. So how do you get the boom boom? That, that's a very good question as a kid. Don't panic. Easier said than done. I wonder if this says... No, this definitely doesn't say hold forward the whole time and you won't take damage. Because it like... There's a little bit more to it. You still have to jump properly and all that stuff. Very cool, World 8. World 8, the Castle of Koopa. The, the Castle of Koopa, Mario's ultimate challenge and final conflict with Bowser, King of the Koopas. Let's go, Mario. Yeah, let's go. You got the lasers. Oh, Bowser's basement. We got Bowser's basement. That's a little troll, though. That's trolly. Look, they used a different... They went special. They used different, like, texting and, like, format, overlay. Really cool. It gets so many special pages, too. I know the text is a little hard to read, but we're not gonna we're not gonna go through and read all, all that much of it. We're just gonna kind of look around and there's the one up. Wait, okay, we have to may have to make it large here. Do we have to see if it says the, the one up secret? There are precious few power-ups in Koopa's castle, but be sure to get the one up that's inside the block. You'll need it. Squat and jump on top of the block the one up was in, and if you're not small, you can go through the wall. Hey, they even say it. I kind of knew that they said it, but it's still nice reading it. Very cool. We'll keep it this size. We'll keep it this big right now. Very cool. Oh, you got to watch out. You got to watch out for those. You always think that that statue is going to laser you, but it doesn't. Are your palms sweaty yet? Not to make you nervous, but those are flames from Bowser's bad breath coming at you. Don't panic, though. You're almost there. Think fast. Jump quickly to avoid them. Yeah, like, Bowser, I don't know, Bowser looks sick here. I also think Bowser looks really cool in Smash Brothers Melee. Giga Bowser, I think he looks badass. Wait, that's it? There's not, I have the book right here. Yeah, this is the last page. It doesn't actually show Bowser, it doesn't show anything. Well, I mean, that's pretty cool. There's a couple more pages, just the subscription and get your, get your hands in there, but. Yeah, with a very nice condition Nintendo Power for Mario 3, with how old it is, it's still actually a lot of fun to go through and read all this stuff. I mean, I, I had a blast. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And definitely in the comments below, tell me your favorite experience with your Nintendo Power. Do you have this Nintendo Power? Is it in good condition? Do you take care of it? Do you ever read it? Uh, I really want to talk more about Nintendo Power stuff. So yeah, don't be afraid to comment and message below if you have any stories or anything interesting very cool i love this well i mean that's it for mitch flower power's book reading of nintendo power i hope you guys enjoyed it Woo! see you guys later